One of the best aspects of Blender is the strong community. Every single day, there are various people uploading different content onto the internet for you to buy or download for free in fact and use them in your own projects and animations to help enhance your own workflow. In today's video, I'll go through five different websites that I've personally used and still use for various client and personal projects. Hopefully, they'll be useful to you the same way they were useful to me. And to start off the list, let's go to the first website, which is Polyhaven. Polyhaven used to be called HDRI Haven and was used solely for HDRIs. And even now, Polyhaven has the best collection of HDRIs that you can use to light up your scene compared to any other website that I've seen till now. So you can actually search for different areas. And if you want indoor HDRIs or you have even further subcategories, you can check them out and use them in your own projects. Apart from the HDRIs, Polyhaven has also recently added in textures as well as models. However, the number of textures and models are actually fairly low compared to other websites that are present right now. But apart from that, they still are very, very high quality and they're absolutely amazing and a delight to work with. As you can see, even for the models, there are only a total of 288 models. But as I stated, there are more models being added in regularly and the collection is only going to grow. So it's definitely worth checking this out and using them in your own projects. Another aspect about Polyhaven is that everything on this website is 100% free and also CC0. That means, as it's mentioned, you can use them without any restriction for both personal as well as commercial purposes. And with that, we can actually shift over to our second website, which is BlenderKit. BlenderKit is an add-on that you can add into Blender and you can actually look at it right here. When you install it, it shows up as a little tab up here, which you can hide and you can type in whatever you want and you can actually search for materials, objects, different scenes or brushes as well. And you can just scroll through the various various options that are available and click and drag them into your scene to instantly elevate your animations or your scenes without putting in too much effort. So it's a very powerful website and it's definitely worth checking out. The best part about this is actually the brushes, which I've seen much lesser in other websites. The brushes are VDM brushes, which are vector displacement maps, and you can use it to sculpt in various features really fast without putting in any amount of effort. So it's definitely worth checking out and hopefully it helps you out in your own animations as well. Of course, this website has two different aspects. One is the paid version where you have all of the different objects, materials, scenes, HDRIs, brushes present without restrictions. But if you don't want to use the paid plan, you can actually just download it for free and you have a more limited set of materials and objects present. But even that limited set is still very powerful and very helpful in most scenarios. As you can see, there are 19,510 free model materials and HDR at the moment. And again, the library does expand every single day, which is true for all of the websites that we have spoken about and will be talking about in the future as well. Considering Blender is only growing, every time somebody joins the community, there's definitely going to be more and more added in and it's happening every single day. The next website is a website that I don't hear spoken about too much in the Blender community, but is one of the first websites that I used and genuinely very, very useful. The best part about this website, which is TurboSquid, is that it's not solely meant for Blender. It's actually for anything 3D. So as you can see down here, it supports not just Blender models, but models from various other industry standard 3D software. And although you might think that that reduces the number of models available, it actually doesn't because most of the artists that upload to TurboSquid uploads the versions not just in their native formats, but also as OBJ files or other compatible files that can be imported into Blender as well. So even though they were modeled in other software, you can still incorporate them into Blender. And they have a huge library with various categories and it's definitely worth checking out. Just like before, whenever you search, you can actually change your filters to have the price set to free as well in case you are limited with your budget at the moment. And even the free variations are actually very high quality and can be very useful to add into your scenes really quickly without putting in too much effort. Of course, even when you do search for free, free options on TurboSquid. They will advertise the paid variations in between the free options, but I think that is only fair for the website to actually stay running. You can always filter out the formats to .blend or .obj so that all the options that are now seen can be imported into Blender very easily. Till now, all the websites that we spoke about were mainly for objects, materials, or HDRIs. However, Mixamo is, in my opinion, 
the best website to download animations from. Of course, Mixamo does allow you to download multiple characters, which is actually really cool. And the selection of characters is amazing, but I still feel like their characters are fairly limited in number, but it's definitely worth checking out. The main aspect of this website is as usual, the animations, and you have various different animations that you can download and import into Blender and use on your own characters and creations. The best part about this is that you can actually download different types of animations as well, like multiple animations, and then combine them together in the non-linear animation tab in Blender. And if you want, you can actually upload your own character and apply the animation and download it as well. The rigging process is also automatically done in Mixamo, which isn't the best rigging in my opinion, but it definitely gets the work done for simple meshes. So definitely check out Mixamo. There are a lot of tutorials on YouTube on how to use this website, and it's definitely worth checking out. And I think if you need any form of animations, this is the fastest way to go through it. Because if you were to actually manually animate all of these and the various bones, it would take you far, far longer than just using Mixamo. Finally, the last website that I'd like to talk about is the Blender Market. It's by far the most powerful Blender related website available because it not only allows you to download materials, shaders, and textures along with models, but also has different modifier setups and node groups that you can download along with various startup files, presets, add-ons, and also video tutorials and eBooks. It's all in one single place. And just like most of the Blender related websites, you have an entire free section where you can download various products that are being given out for free to test out to help you get better at Blender. Genuinely, the collection of add-ons available over here is amazing. And I definitely think it's worth testing a few of these add-ons out because they will definitely help increase your workflow. Even if the price seems a bit heavy in some of these, I would personally recommend trying a few of these out because often the time saved will definitely be worth the money. In our previous video, we spoke about generating cables between any objects and you can see here there's an entire section for procedural generators where you can just generate amazing things like light trails sci-fi alleys buildings without having to actually manually do all of that work all of the setup and things like that it's definitely worth checking out and i can't recommend this enough hopefully you find something that interests you and helps take your blender game to the next level if you watched so far into the video thank you so much for watching and i really hope you gained something from this video if you liked it definitely check out other videos on my channel i post blender related tutorials every single day. So there's definitely content on my channel that will cater to your needs. Until my next video comes out tomorrow, once again, thank you so much for watching. Keep creating and don't forget to stay creative.